This is a 2012 Ram with the Edelbrock supercharger, as you can see. This is basically the full Edelbrock kit. Uh, the Edelbrock E-Force kit, basically it's an Eaton supercharger. What's up, Mopar fam? I hope everybody's having a blessed day out there. As you can see, we got a little project here. I'm helping out my neighbor that uh, he picked up a Ram 1500 regular cab, as you can see. And this truck's a little bit unique. They've been kind of working on this thing, trying to get it back up and going, get everything put together. But this truck has a Edelbrock supercharger kit on it, which is pretty cool. I've never actually seen one in person, let alone drive one. So we're going to be doing some tuning on here. Uh, we're going to go upload a tune real quick, do some data logging, and uh, just trying to get this thing ironed out. So definitely don't forget, hit that subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, comment down below what you think, and come join me as we uh, tune this truck and go for a drive. gonna go do some tuning check it out oh we can check out frostbite's old blown up engine while we're at it but again guys this truck is uh it's kind of in works tires and wheels on it. it's kind of on the big side as you can see the tires are kind of rubbing so we're gonna take it easy we're just gonna kind of go for a little drive get this thing going and uh, we got to upload a tune real quick So let's get the key on. I got HP tuners already fired up here. Download this file. Hit right. And we are using FRP tuning on this as well as all of our projects on the channel. It's going through the flash. We do have a AEM wideband up here that they just kind of temporarily installed so we have something to work with. Again, the truck is in progress of being put together. She's almost done. About to cycle the key. Validating. All right, turn ignition key off. Wait 10 seconds. Turn key back on. All right, we're going to turn the key back on. Right, hit OK. I usually wait for that last ding to go away. There we go. Tune is uploaded, completed. So we're going to close this out. And we're going to pull up our data logger. All right. All right, we're going to turn our key back on. We're going to connect to the vehicle. All right, we're connected. We're gonna go hit start scanning. Then we got our data pulled up. We're gonna go ahead and start the truck. Fired right up. And it looks like we got data. So we're gonna put the laptop over here in the passenger seat. I'm gonna let the truck warm up for just a second before we take off. There you go, Adelbrock Supercharger. All 
All right, so guys, just gonna give you a little quick rundown real quick before we get started with uh, driving this Ram and going out and doing a little test hits with it. So again, this is a 2012 uh, Ram regular cab pickup truck. Um, it's got like the interior from an RT. It's had like an RT swap done on it more or less. And again, the truck's still in process. They're still working on it, trying to iron some things out here and there. Um, we're just simply trying to get some of the tuning part of it done. Um, the truck, like again, the truck again has an Edelbrock supercharger kit on it. So this is a first for me. I've never seen one in person, let alone I haven't driven one, um, especially on a Ram. So I'm kind of interested in how this thing does and goes down the road and how this little supercharger feels. I have no idea what kind of boost it's going to make. Uh, just give you a rundown on the truck. Again, this is a 2012. It's a six speed transmission. It is not the eight speed. And this is basically a bone stock truck, stock camshaft. Um, it might have a muffler on it because it does sound a little bit louder, but I'm not sure what's going on with the exhaust. I'm pretty sure it's, you know, it's got stock headers still, um, you know, stock camshaft again. It just has an Edelbrock supercharger kit. And that's pretty much it. So we're going to go out, make some rips, get some data, have a little bit of fun. So let's get it. It don't have to, you know, build up pressure like a turbo or, or a centrifugal supercharger. It's pretty much instant torque and instant boost. So it's real quick. And it's very quiet. Like I said, I can't even hear it. There's no whining. Uh, like I said, we haven't got into it. We're about to. I'm going to stop right now. And we're going to do a little punch. Just making sure the computer's still rolling. Yeah, we're looking good. Hopefully it don't spin. Or if it does, we'll just kind of roll into it. All right, let's see here. I'm just going to roll into it. I don't want to punch it and just blow the tires up. We're just going to do a small little roll. Gradually get into it. Kind of watch the wide band and uh, see how it does. So here we go. So it definitely looks like we're lean. And I did hear the blower whining. I'm not sure if you guys could pick that up, but I'm going to roll the window down see if you guys can hear it. Watch the wide band again. It looks like we were kind of a little high. So I'm going to roll in it again. So it looks like we were about 1170s, 1160s, something like that. Do it one more time. I'm having to feather the gas because as I if I if I get in it hard, I hear the tires actually starting to chirp and spin. So I'm having to kind of kind of easily do this so it's definitely making some power it's making some torque here we go not too terrible we're about 1170s 1180s somewhere in there on the wideband needs a little bit more fuel this is a stock fuel system on this truck so we're uh we'll have to see how it how it does with this edelbrock supercharger not to mention i have no idea what kind of boost we're making we're gonna have to look at the log and uh see what kind of boost we're making on the log all right here we go <laughs> a little bit of belt slip it sounds like all right, we're gonna give it a little bit of a punch right here. See what happens. Whoa, this thing is quick. This thing is quick. She was, uh, wideband was a little bit better right there. It was about 1130 it looked like. Not bad. But it's definitely got some punch, man. This thing's got some punch. I'm kind of little Edelbrock is uh, getting it down. Let's give it a whack. Yeah, the wide band's definitely doing a little better right now. She's kind of looking on the fat side. I think we're starting to get all the sensors talking right. However, you can see I got a forerunner right here in front of me, so I really can't do much. I'm gonna go down here. Ooh, god, them tires are rubbing. 
go back look at the data see what kind of boosts we made with those small little pulls and uh let our frp tweak it some more and go from there Woo, this thing's got a nasty first. She's got a nasty first gear on her with this blower. Good Lord. Let's get here in my driveway and let's give her a little, a little Bernie. A little Bernie. Let the Eagles, let the Eagles run, baby. Let the Eagles go. All right, let's see what we can do here. Oh, she got a little sputter right there. I don't know what's up with that. Let's try that again. All right, we're just going to whack it. We're going to whack it right here in the driveway. <laughs> All right, guys, here we go. We're going to give it a whack and see what... Uh, we're just going to hit it to the floor and see what happens here. All right, we got to let the windows down first, though, right? I mean, we know the tires are going to spin, but let's see what happens. She's got a little bit of a sputter. Let's see. Let's do that again. And try to watch the wideband when that happens and see what's up. All right. One more time. Yeah, it didn't do it that time, but it definitely... <laughs> <laughs> oh this is crazy it'll definitely blow the tires up so heck yeah we got the uh the log finishing up we're about to uh kill the computer here save the log we're gonna send frp and uh see what kind of boost and everything we're making on it see what he thinks uh truck was running pretty good it's definitely making some steam um a lot of torque down low you can definitely feel that positive displacement supercharger um, so, I mean, the Edelbrock, the Edelbrock supercharger is definitely working. Um, I mean, you can feel it. It's punchy. The only thing I'd probably maybe give it a thumbs down for right now is just personal preference. It's quiet. You just, you can't hear it. Um, it, it doesn't have that really loud whine like a Whipple uh, or Hellcat. Um, or you know like an old Terminator or Ford Lightning back in the day with those older Eaton superchargers They were real loud. They had that You know that that noise that everybody loved and uh, No denying that you had a supercharger under the hood. This thing is super quiet and you just you don't hear it um, I'm not sure if the video is, is gonna bring it out or not. I mean I could hear it just a little bit, but I was really trying to hear it if you get what i'm saying like i was really trying to hear it you know the average joe would never notice this like you just you wouldn't you would not know at all this thing had a blower on it uh it's just it's super quiet and that's the only thing i gotta give it a thumbs down for is you just you can't hear it you know i wonder if there's a way on these superchargers um like back in the day on the old lightnings and uh terminators those eaten superchargers back then like there was ways you could bring out that wine um, with some uh, extra porting. Uh, they had something called like silencer holes that you could actually, you know, plug those up. People would like JB weld them up. And basically it made the blower whine louder. So not sure um, what's up with this supercharger, if, there, if that's an option to like kind of bring out the wine a little bit more. But uh, other than that, I mean, it's great. It's it's making power. The truck definitely has a lot of torque down low. You put the pedal down, the tires smoke, <laughs> and uh, the truck takes off. It's you know, that part of it is working, no doubt. So pretty cool because I've been kind of interested to see what one of those feel like, you know, on a similar truck like Frostbite. And uh, the you know, like I said, it's 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 instant torque. I mean, it's it's definitely there for sure. So. Stay tuned. We may have some more follow-up videos with this truck in the future. But don't forget, give video a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think of the truck and the Edelbrock supercharger that's on this truck. As always, stay safe out there. We'll see you guys on the next one.